hey guys welcome back to my channel um so if you want to see how this disaster of a look happened um with my green face i keep watching because this entire video is a giant flop and it's freaking hilarious <laughs> keep on watching So first thing I'm going to start off with is the Wet n Wild Primer. I have used this before and it's not one of my favorite primers to be honest. I am a big fan of like silicone-y primers and this one is more of like a lotion. Also smells very heavily of sunscreen. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the Photo Focus Concealer. Now going in with the um, Photo Focus Foundation. I know that this is going to be like a shade too light for me. So I know a lot of beauty gurus love this foundation. Um, I don't like it at all. Um, in some spots it's like patchy for me. And it is extremely light coverage. Um, I feel like I can see every single one of my flaws through the foundation. And it just doesn't do it for me. The concealer, on the other hand, I do really like. Um, just can't get this spot covered. Um, I'm going to try and go in with a little bit more on the back of my hand and go in with a brush. See if that makes a difference at all. Because just that one spot, I cannot get covered. I just really dislike this foundation. Um, I don't know if you can see. There's just like no consistency. Like right here, there's like no coverage. Down here, there's like too much. No matter what I do, I cannot get it to not look cakey. Like it looks so cakey um, around my eyebrows, like right in here, in my nose area. Well, this foundation is a flop. Highly dislike it. Um, I do not have any Wet n Wild setting powder, so I'm just going to keep moving out of my face. I know this next product I don't super love it. <laughs> Um, it is the Wet n Wild Colorcon Bronzer. Um, I just want to show you how chalky. You see all that? Just 
disgustingly chalky. Well, um, I'm gonna go in and <sighs> okay, I just need to show you <sighs> one touch with the brush. What is that? Well, there's definitely a lot of pigment. I'm barely touching this brush to my face. Maybe I just chose the wrong brush for this product. I'm um, not really sure. The thing I do know is that I'm going to have to wash my face after this video. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some Wet n Wild products that I absolutely love. Um, just haven't gotten to them yet, I guess. Like this is terrible. Look, what? Do I, how do I fix it? Okay, uh, moving on. The next thing is highlight, and I have the highlighting bar from the Mermaids collection. This is another item that I have used in the past and just don't 110% love. Um, it comes off kind of green, which, like, okay, I guess it's kind of cool, but it's also. I don't see anything. Like, I mean, I guess it's a little bit there, but it's just not as pigmented as I want my highlighters to be. So I guess after a couple of layers, it works out. And you can start seeing pigment. You can take a highlighting brush. I'm going to really dig in here. That is straight up green. <laughs> this video is a flop. I thought this was, this was going to be good products. This is really green. Oh my goodness. No. That's green. It is green. Alright, hopefully there's some products in this video that I find work. This is so green. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna blend, blend away. I wish I had this on Halloween when I was an actual mermaid. I dressed up as a mermaid. But now I just look ill. Oh, Lord. Moving on. <laughs> okay, so I do not have a wet and wild eyeshadow primer, so I just went ahead and popped on my own. Um, next thing I'm going to do is go in with the eyeshadow palette in the shade Petal Pusher. This is from the color Icon line. 
So I am going to follow exactly like their instructions. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go in with the darker side here just to like play around a little bit because we already know I have to wash my face anyway. So I'm going to take the crease color on a rather large fluffy brush. This is a wet mouth brush. And this is considered their blending brush, so I'm probably going to regret this. Already, once again, having the super intense fallout situation. Um, let's go ahead and try this out anyway. I'm going to regret it, but you know. Basically what's happening is that my, the eyeshadow does not like my eyeshadow primer. Okay, take two with a smaller brush. Okay, well, yeah, my, this eyeshadow really does not like this primer. It keeps getting stuck. Like the brush keeps getting stuck and then like jolting forward. So I'm getting this like hot mess of a, hot mess of a situation. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna follow their instructions. I'm gonna go in with a lighter hand though. So in the pan, this looks like a really pretty, like almost dark purple. And on my eye, it looks black. It just straight up looks black. It looks so purple in the pan. I don't understand. Like, okay, I just washed it on my hand. I don't know if you can see that. But, like, this part looks purple, but then this part just looks straight up black. So, all right, we're, um, gonna keep going, I guess. Okay, so <laughs> I look like I'm going through a goth phase. The eyelid shade, to be fair, isn't that bad. Um, I'll slash it on the back of my hand just so you can. Um, it's not that pigmented. It is extremely chalky and has a ton of fallout. Like, watch. But on my eye, like under primer, it's not that bad. Um, this black crease shade they had me do is a no-go. I will never do that again. I'm going to go in now with this pink brow bone color they have me going with. Okay, that's freaking gorgeous. Um, didn't realize it was going to be that shiny just because uh, the rest of the eyeshadow sucks. Um, you know. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, I look insane. I look absolutely insane. I look insane. Okay. Just 
just need to get this over with. I need to finish this look. Um, I am going to go in with their brow pencil now. It's this tiny little, um, you know, this is also going to be awful. Everything about this video just turned out to be awful. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to post this. It is very creamy. It's like almost, it's so creamy, it's almost matting down my hairs. It almost feels like a wax and I this was sharp when I started it oh lordy lordy please help me get through this well, on the bright side at least my brow hairs won't be moving anywhere also it totally just wiped away all my foundation and everything just this spoolie Oh gosh. Can you see that? How it just wiped away everything. Oh god. I look insane. I look absolutely insane right now. Okay, we gotta finish, we gotta finish, we gotta finish. Um, let's see, mascara. I'm not doing any wings liner. I'm not doing anything like that. I just want to get this over with. This brush looks nice, though. Is there anything on this? There's barely anything on this. Nothing's coming off. Okay. Thank you, Wet n Wild. Thank you for taking all my money. Okay, I guess it's working a little bit. Oh, this is not clumpy. Alright, last but not least, lipstick. I do know for a fact, except you know what, this is the first time I'm using this. Do you see how empty it is? Um, this is, I know for a fact that I like these lipsticks. Alright, well that's the best ass getting. Um... <clears throat> I think the makeup speaks for itself. This was a horrible experience and I'm never buying Wet n Wild ever again. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget, forget to like and subscribe because I went through hell. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I will see you in my next video. Um, probably going to be things that I am never purchasing again. There's going to be a lot of these products. Um, and I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.